Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away, and that's right, I'm back from Wonderfest with my first video. My voice is giving up for some reason, I don't know why that is, but we are going to be returning with stages 51 to 56 of the Agora Models and Hashet Partworks release of Build the RMS Titanic. Now remember, if you're in the USA, you can get this from Agora Models. And if you go over to the Agora Models website, and I put a link in the video description, you'll be able to see that on there. Uh, obviously, I've got it all laid out what we've been doing here. We're going to be continuing with some of the deck pieces today. So I'm going to be adding them to this section here. I don't think I need anything that I've got in the boxes down there. But if I do, uh, we'll have to get them up. But I do need glue today. There's going to be a lot of fiddly photo etch parts to do as well. And I believe we are creating the third and fourth funnels as well. So uh, that's going to be good. But we haven't done this for a while. So without further ado, first video back. Let's get cracking. So it starts with stage 51 and this is the magazine. Let's have a quick flick through. And as you can see, we're going to be doing the deck house and other details here. So we're going to be creating this little part just here. We are adding some uh, winches by the look of it to what we've actually just created before. And there is what this looks like when we finish this stage. Once again, I know what box number we're on to because it's these last two digits here. So this is box 51. I do like how they reduce the use of plastic in these builds now and you've got everything coming in paper now but unfortunately for me rather than pollute the seas we're destroying the rainforest so <laughs> you can't win okay i'm going to bring over what we were working on previously and i have zoomed up a couple of cameras because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking these winches here and they're going to go either side of this uh, dome section here now they are different sizes you have got a large section and a small section they're going to go in like that they are going to need to be glued in so one in that side just dipping this into some of the glue that i've just put over here and one there we can put that to one side because we're now going to be adding some details to this deck house like this and i do need the grills that come on this photo etch here. So I'm going to cut off this one just here, just like that. And that's going to go into this opening here. So I'm going to need some more glue. I'm going to attach the glue with my little uh, glue adapter here, which is just a pin vise with a normal dress pin stuck inside. Matter of fact, I'm just going to uh, snip off the end of this because I've got some dried glue. You could burn this glue off, but uh, the quickest way is just to do that. So I'll just dot this around here. It's very strange that um, I haven't really been hit by jet lag. And I was actually out at the Lincoln Heritage Centre yesterday seeing a Lancaster bomber all day, all the way to 11 o'clock at night. But this morning I'm feeling it, big time. But there you go, that's that grid in place. Now, these windows at the bottom are going to go in on this photo etch now. So let's cut out these. I'm going to need to cut out seven of these windows. And I'm going to put these in place around the sides here. Using tweezers. Tweezers are your friend. So they look like that. I'll just do the rest of them. And when that's done, that should look just like that. I'm then going to be taking this top section, and that's just going to be going on top here. And it's a push down like that again you might want to put a little bit of glue on there to keep that in i've got two cows to put in that's a word that i struggle to say cows they do have a little lip on the back of them so that they can only go in one way and i am just dipping these into some of the glue i got here and make sure that sits perfectly in there then i've got these little vents to go in just into the holes here so one that side again i am adding glue to this and one this side here leaving a hole just in the middle there and then finally i've got the hooded vent which has got a shape which is just going in this side here 
and you heard that click in like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 52, again, this is the magazine here, flicking through, no idea what we're doing. We're gonna be doing some more lifeboats and lighting. So we've got a lighting strip here and here's the lifeboats, putting the, life, uh, the lighting strip in just like last time. So by the end, it looks like that. This should be a nice quick stage. Okay, so once again, this is what the lifeboats look like. And as you see, we do have these uh, tarpaulin type sheets to go on. We want the ones with the holes in first to just go over the lifeboat, grab one of these block gears, I believe they're calling them, and just push that all the way in and that will hold all of this into place one side. Turn it round and do exactly the same on the other side. So that looks like that. Now, when we're doing this, we don't use any glue. So put that to one side. Now, for this spare boat, we don't actually need that at the moment. So I'm just going to put that to one side. But I'm going to take the smaller one now, which is the cutter. And I have these ends to put in each side. So one in here. I am going to want to glue these into place. And just one in the other side. Again, a little bit of glue. So it fits in like that. I'm then going to be taking this light strip here, which looks like that, turning over what we've been working on last time, being very gentle now because this is just going into this area here. It's going to follow the shape again, so it's going to be going this way round. So the easiest way to do this is to put one side in, just like that, line everything up, and then click it down into place from the other side. If you do need help, just get a screwdriver in here. Just bend that back so it clips in. But there you go, that's in place. Just need to make the last daffet now, which means again, a little bit of glue just to put this in place here. So now that's one unit. And some glue at the bottom. And you probably noticed in the last stage we did, we had one in here, but we never put the one in the other side. So that's where this one's gonna go. just like that. Now, pushing this back over here, this glass that we've got here is gonna be going over the top of the dome in this section. They don't want us to glue that down yet. So I've just put that in to keep it safe, but uh, that is all there is to do in that stage. So in stage 53, let's uh, turn through the magazine again. And as you can see, we're going to do the base for the third funnel. We're going to be creating this. Looks like we've got a lot more details to put back on that deck piece there. We've got some lighting to put in. We are testing the lighting with our battery tester. Putting some grills in the side. So by the end, it's going to look like that. Once again, bringing over the deck. On this section that we just put in, I have this ventilator to put in. Now I've already put this in some glue. That's just going to go in the middle just here like that. Again, some more glue, just a ventilator I'm going to put right next to it here. And then the last bit of glue I've got is going to go into the holes that we've got just here. Making sure that's fully down on the deck there. Now we've got three remaining ventilators to put in, this really big one here. That's going to go behind this one that we put in first. A larger one at the back here and then finally this one just here perfect lots going on in just that area there we can put that to one side and bring over this uh, deck piece that we've got Turn it upside down, we've got some electrics to put in this. So making sure that LEDs, which are pointing at 90 degrees, go in the holes. So I'm just lining them up now. Like this. 
I'm going to clip this into place. So once again, take one side down first. When you're happy we've got one side in, we can push the other side in. And if you do need help, once again, grab just a flat end screwdriver and just pull that clip back and clip it into place. And there you go. That's what it should look like when that's seated in. Now we do need to check this, so let me get the tester board. That's here, so just plug that in. As you can see, all the lights are coming on. They look like that from that side. So it's this side that I'm interested in now. And I've got three more vents that I'm putting into place, which I have just dotted in some glue here. So one over this side, one just here, and finally one just there. So that's looking like that. And then the final piece to put in is this pipe, which is gonna go into these two holes just here. So again, I'm gonna drop this in some glue. Make sure you've put it in the right way. So it's facing that direction there. I wanna break off this grill from the last photo etch we had, because that's gonna be glued into this section at the front here. I haven't caked that in oil when I do this. Just some spots around the outside so I can get this to drop in here like that. Just pressing it gently around the sides so that can sit in. Excellent. I do have some more windows to put in now. Now obviously we had the photo etch for that earlier on. So I'm going to continue putting those in around the side. And that's the two windows on that side done. And we've got two windows there done. No more windows on here. It does mean I've still got one left on this plate here. But that is all there is to do in that stage. Which leads us swiftly on to stage 54. Again, this is the magazine here. Have a flick through. And we're going to be doing the third funnel now. We've obviously built one of these funnels before. So it's looking just like that. And that's how it looks when it's finished. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take this metal surround and the inner of the funnel here, matching up the shape, put this in here, just like that, line everything up and we're gonna be putting screws into this side here. Now the screws don't go in every screw hole. So I want these silver DP screws, very tiny they are. I'm gonna use my tiny screwdriver. And the first one I'm gonna put in is just underneath this line section here. So one in here. Second one's just gonna go by that large hole. And the last one is just gonna go into the very base here. And then we'll just do exactly the same on the other side, matching where I've put these three screw holes. And there we go, they're in like that. I now need to take the top of the funnel section here and I'm putting this collar around the top. It can only go in one way. So it needs to go in that way there. And then this is gonna be fitting on top of what we've just created here. So that the dots that we've got on this side are facing that opening just like that. So push this in. And it slots in like that. Okay, first thing to do now is to put this platform in place. So I'm going to get some glue. I'm just going to put that along this edge here where it's going to go. It goes in this way. I'm going to hold that in place for a second. You can see that looks like that. Just put that to one side while it's drying because I'm going to now put these pipes together whistle and pipes and they're just going to go into the holes that we can see onto the side of this section they are glued in so I will drop some glue just down these holes just make just holding that into place so it looks like that then this whole section is going to go into the holes above the platform there into the funnel so once again I am just going to drop some glue just into the holes this is going to insert into one two 
two and three. That's looking really good, isn't it? <laughs> the last thing to do on top of that, we've got a ladder to put in and that's going into the holes that we can see on each side here. So once again, just dropping some glue into these holes, ready to put the ladder in. This is what the ladder looks like. So let's get this lined up. Last thing to do is on the other side here, you can see we've got two more holes. Actually, there's three more holes. One, two, and three. And then I've got this water pipe to put in. It's going on the other side. One, two, three, get that pushed in. Perfect. And that is the funnel looking really good. So I've got this extension lead now. Let's open this up. I want to take the female end here, feed that through the bottom so it comes out of the top, just like this. I then want the base that this is going to go into here. Feed this wire into the hole that I've got there. Now, when we put it in, we want to make sure we put it the right way around. So it's going to go this way. So the ladders here are facing that grill there. Just putting this into place. And it's going to be held in with AP screws from the other side. So I've just got that upside down. Let's get these AP screws in. Needs two of these. And there you go. That is all there is to do in that stage. The penultimate stage of this pack, stage 55. Let's flick through the instructions. Looking like this. And as you can see, we're gonna be doing the third smoke generator, putting this together. So by the end, it looks like that. Nice quick stage, this one. Okay, so quite simply, what we're gonna do first is take this foam, and I've got a spring here with a sort of shaft in it, which I'm gonna push into this foam. So it's all the way down there. It's kind of spring loaded now. That's gonna go into the top of this section here, like that. Take the smoke generator, just untangle this wire. That's gonna sit into this bracket like this, and there's a notch in the side for this wire to come out there. That's then gonna fit on top of this section here, like this. Whoops. And that's held in with EP screws. And then this section of the smoke generator is gonna to attach to the foam here, like that. We're gonna run this cable down here and I do have a band that I want to put over the end here to keep this all in place there you go and that's with the band on we do have this top which we don't use at the moment because that's all there is to do in that stage so in the last stage stage 56 here just keep turning the magazine and as you can see we are now going to be doing the base of the four funnel. Once again, putting a light unit in there and just putting some details. So by the end, it looks like that. You know what? There's something about this Titanic build that's just so therapeutic. It's just a really relaxing build. So just like we did last time, I'm going to be taking this lighting unit here, matching up the shape that I've got in here, putting the LEDs in first, and then clipping this into place. Best to put it at an angle to get one side in. Like that, and then just clip the other side in. Once again, I'm just gonna take my battery board to check everything's still working. As you can see, we've got all the lights on on both sides. Strangely, I've got two parts here now that are gonna be going together. These are ventilators again. So I do wanna put a little bit of glue just on this D-shaped lug here, and then push these two parts together. So it makes one part. Glue on the bottom of this one part, and that's gonna go 
into the holes at the back like that. The last ventilators now, again, I'm just putting some glue on these. One's going in this side, just making sure they all face the right way. And the last one, which is handy, it's the last one because I've uh, run out of glue that I uh, took out here. They can only go in one way, it's going to go in just like that. And that is all there is to do in that stage. That's all there is to do in that pack. Definitely a really relaxing build. I enjoyed that. But as you can see, we've created the next funnel. Haven't attached it to the deck yet. So I'm going to have to keep all of these parts safe. But uh, very much enjoyed that. If you want to get this for yourself, once again, I have put a link in the video description. You can get this all the way from pack one if you're in the Americas. If you're in the UK, you can get this through Hachette Partworks. I don't know if you can still get back to issue one, though. So uh, you'll have to let me know in the comments if that is still available. But I really hope you liked that video. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.